Thanks, Gams. Uh, this is some of the uh, science and robotics team. Um, for the last three weeks or so, we've been setting up and playing with one of the first Raspberry Pi computers that the Raspberry Pi Foundation Liz sent us one of the first boards to, to see what we could do with it. So what do you think about it, guys? Um, it's, really, uh, it's really cool because it's really small and easy to transport and it's got a HDMI um, cable and a USB connector and if you want to transport it anywhere without the Raspberry Pi itself, you can use the SD card, so say you um, wanted to do work at home or something and you couldn't transport your computer um, into work, you could just take the SD card and take it to your computer and it would still be uploaded from there. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, being able to carry, basically carry your whole computer, an operating system, and all your work on an SD card. Uh, by itself, it's pretty portable. It comes just as a bare board, and we've made our own case. So th this the case is well made. Um, it comes with a lid, so we can access the uh, test points for the power supply. I think, like most people, we've had some problems with the power supply, so we're using a bench power supply at the moment. Uh, we can get everything to work. We've got keyboard and mouse, which always works. And then we can get Wi-Fi to work, and we can get Bluetooth to work. Uh, not all at once, unfortunately, at the moment, but uh, there's some software fixes and improvements to come. So hopefully that will all be ironed out by the educational release. So what's the best thing that we can do on it so far? Um, we can play Quake 3, which is a really cool game. It's got good graphics, and hopefully quite soon we'll be able to set it up online so we can play against other real people who are also playing Quake 3. Yeah, the graphics are really great. Uh, it's a uh, fully up-to-date uh, graphics uh, capability on it that exploits the uh, HD resolution of the big telly we've got here. Uh, the rest of the computer is quite slow, isn't it? So uh, that's yeah. one of the frustrating things. But it's not designed to be a replacement for your desktop thing. Uh, what, what did you enjoy doing, Doc? Oh, I enjoyed making my game. Do you want to load it up? Show us yeah. what you did? Not quite here, I think. This is something that's similar to uh, software you've got at school, you've got a scratch at school. And this is just a little game that Doc made, uh, came over for an extra session one afternoon, and we were able to put something together really you died. quickly. died. Not my good at it, You died. So, uh, the pie comes ready loaded with scratch. You died. <laughs> and you can make quite challenging games really easily, can't you, Doc? <laughs> Um, you could do this before. Or if you just died. <laughs> or if you are just an idiot like me. Uh, we, we've got a, uh, a couple of programs up uh, with Scratch already. And you the died. other programming we're doing is uh, with Lego Robotics. So uh, this is one of our robots. <laughs> so show the robot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of robots that we're taking to a big international competition and we thought it would be very cool, uh, our project is to do with raspberries, to actually have the Raspberry Pi control the robot. Uh, we've downloaded uh, Python NXT and we're able to control the robot uh, through Bluetooth with that. So I guess uh, to summarise, what's the, what's the worst thing about it? It's really slow and it's kind of a bit weird. Kind of slow, it crashes quite a lot at the moment, yeah. but some of that's the, the software, but uh, it doesn't matter if it we'll crashes, because you can just put it back together and reboot it very quickly. What's the best thing about it? You can play games on it, it's, it's, easy, to, easy. it's easy to transport. The graphics are quite good. And <laughs> it's very quick to write our own games, uh, which is more fun than just the stuff that we do in lessons, isn't it? Oh, um, yes, but I'm not. That was a wasn't it? Yeah, I still got to do that. Okay, so thanks, Liz. It's been great. Uh, we're looking forward to getting more progress with the, the robots and uh, writing some slicker looking games. Uh, but it's been great. And it'd be uh, nice to get a few more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wish you will when, when they uh, get the uh, more readily available ones yeah. from RS. I think all, are you all going to get one, guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks guys.